Now that we have our projects set up and working through Unreal Engine 5, we can go ahead and actually start working on more of our inventory portion. So we have our struct here created, and what I want to do with it, you can ignore all these errors, I'm sure that'll go away when I restart the uh, IDE. We want to construct a widget that will use this information. So what we're going to do is press control space to bring up the content browser like this, by the way, or click it up and drop it up there. We're going to go to widgets and we're going to create another widget. So we're going to right click, search for user interface, widget blueprint, and call it w underscore. Now let's do inventory item. We want to open that up. Let's go ahead and dock it. Go to the graph and let's think of some information we might, you know, want it to take in. So we obviously know we want it to take in the data structure. So let's add a new variable and let's call it item data. And the type is going to be that structure. So it's going to be item data, like so. We're just going to have it be single because we want to construct it from an array of item datas. And from here, we want to use this information. So for example, let's just go ahead and do a get and let's break it and we can see Actually, we can do that right here, I think, can't we? Yeah. We can see we have the class of the item to spawn, we have the image of the item, and we have the cost. So what we can do is, let's do, we'll delete the tick, and we will do the pre-construct. I'm going to go ahead and, that is not what I meant to do. Drag this out and do a get. What I want to do is, let's go back to the designer, let's create a button. So that button's going to be kind of our base. Set the anchor to fill it up, remove the offset, like so, so it completely fills it. And let's give it an image to drag on top. And let's give this button a name here, so B underscore item. Let's give this image here a name, so i underscore item and we want this image to fill so let's fill it horizontally and vertically and i do kind of want it to have some padding so let's do at the top as well okay that's not doing a whole lot let's check 10 20 we'll do 20 for the top and four on the left and right so this image is what we want to add the item image to and then we have our cost, which I'm not all that concerned about. That can be done separately. Oh, possibly anyways. So let's go back to our graph. We have our button and we have our image. So let's drag out our image. Let's do set. And we want to set the brush. We want to do set brush from texture. And then that texture, as you can see, it's just, a, it's just that. It's just simply an image. So what we can do is break our item data. So let's just right click on and do split and link our item image right to it. Let's compile save. And what we can do is go to our third person character as a test and change this character here. to Let's do the inventory item. So when we go to construct the widget, we would do it this way. I'm going to delete the uh, tick and begin overlap, by the way. As you can see, we have no option to set the item data. So what we have to do is let's click on it. We want to set it to, let me move this over, instance editable. And we want to expose it on spawn so we can set it. So now let's right click and refresh this node. As you can see, here we have that item data struct. So for a test, let's go ahead and just do a simple make item data. Item class will be BP item. We'll again do that UE4 logo and cost doesn't really matter. Let's, we'll just do 10 for the example. Compile and save. So now we hit play. As you can see, we have a button that contains that image right there that we had set. So that we know is working. So what we can do now is we can actually create that little grid that is going to contain all of these items. So again, for the time being, let's go ahead and uh, let's try to simplify this a bit. So 
Let's go to widgets. And let's just create an inventory widget. So let's create another widget blueprint, w underscore inventory. Open that on up. And this one's going to simply just be a grid. Let's go to panel. Let's see, is it grid panel that I want? That might be it, uniform. That might be a better option. And I know a wrap box. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I feel like we would rather have a uniform grid panel. This is going to have to be something that I tinker with in the uh, in my off time. So essentially, we want to have just a basic grid here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more research and see probably what a better item would be for a grid system. So I will be right back. Alrighty, so... I kind of, while I was looking up, I had a little bit of thought, so I kind of like the idea of having a bunch of empty grids as well. So I was almost thinking we could add in a bunch of just kind of, uh, I guess, placeholder items. So for example, I drag and drop, I drag and drop another, and they would just have the basic shape, so to speak. That was one option. And the other one was to just kind of leave it like it's bare. I'm not entirely sure exactly if I want to go that route as well. But anyhow, because this is something that we are going to be bringing up kind of in our HUD, we want it to really just fill everything. So what I want to do is set an anchor here. I want it to make it fill it. Again, get rid of the offsets. And inside of the canvas panel, we can actually add an image to kind of just give it a little bit of transparency. So again, let's fill that. Remove the offset, and I don't think it matters what order these are in, but I want the grid to be on top. So let's go to our item, or sorry, our image. You can see color and opacity. So we have the alpha, we can drag that down a bit. I'm gonna make it solid black, and just give it a little bit of an alpha, so that way it's got kind of like that grayish appearance for the background. I compile and save. And then we have our widget, or our grid here that I want to, want to set as a variable. And let's do, let's do a grid underscore inventory. We're going to compile and save that. Okay, so we have that. And what I want to do is I really want to, well, we can actually get rid of the image. So let's click the image and uncheck is a variable so we don't have access to it. Let's go back to the graph. We're going to delete the tick and the pre-construct. Let's go ahead and create a function here. And let's search for add item. And we want to take in an input. And that input is going to be our inventory item. So w underscore inventory item object reference. And let's give it a name of, uh, we'll just do item. We're going to get our grid. We're going to go ahead and do an add. Add a child. And that child's going to be our item. So we can go ahead and make sure, make sure it's public so we can call it pretty much from anywhere. And I'd say we're just about good to go. We just kind of have to link these up to make them work together. So what I want to do and it's where we have our cross here. Here, I'm just going to make a new widget blueprint, and this one's going to be w underscore. Let's do HUD. This kind of be our, not necessarily our HUD. Well, let's see. What would be a better option for the name? w underscore. Uh, let's do interface, because it's going to be kind of everything related to our actual interface. So inside that interface, we want to have our couple layers here. So we're going to have a widget switcher. We're going to go to Panel, Widget Switcher, and let's give this a name of WS underscore, or Widget Switcher underscore, how do we want to call it, HUD, I guess would be a, let's do Crosshair. Eh, we'll just grip, we'll call it Widget Switcher. Then inside of that, we're going to drag and drop our Crosshair. And we're going to have our inventory as another one. And 
we just give this a name? And put script. We'll do ws underscore interface. That'll be simple enough. So this way we have, for example, when we go to switch, we have our crosshair. And that crosshair we want to have, you know. Uh let's see. So our interface here, our widget switcher, we want that to fill it. The offset. So there we go. We put our oops, we put our crosshair in the center. And same thing's gonna happen when we switch the inventory. So what's going on is we have our crosshair. Then we have our inventory itself. So currently the inventory is going to be filling the entire screen. So we're going to be going between it. So when we open up the inventory, we press I, we switch, we use this widget switcher interface, or our widget switcher to switch to the next index, which is going to be our inventory. So this is going to just display this widget that we created. So we can go through, we can add items to specifically this you know, variable here. So what I mean by that is we have our inventory, we can do what our get our inventory, we can do add item, you know, we can construct the item and so on. So that's how we're gonna kind of access everything. So again, let's delete the tick and the pre-construct. And we do not oops, I meant to go to designer. We do not want these in here right now. Instead what we want well, let me rephrase that. We do want them in there. Wait, I'm getting myself confused. Yeah, sorry. We're just going to leave them like so. So then the only thing we want to do is delete that. Where we go to create widget, we're just going to add the interface. Compile and save. Hit play. We have our crosshair there. We want to set it up so when we press I, we can do that temporarily. So let's do I'm gonna search for right mouse button. Then change the key to I. When we press it, I want to get this widget, which means we have to store it. So let's go ahead and store this widget real quick. Actually, we can just promote it to a variable. Give it a name of w underscore UI. Like so. And then we're going to get it. And we want to simply open the inventory. So let's create a public function to switch between it. So we go to our widget interface, let's go to the graph to create a new function. Let's do go, or let's do, let's just search for inventory. And when we go to inventory, we're going to get our widget switcher. We are going to set, let's see, what is it, index? We're going to set active widget, widget index to one. And we're going to create another function crosshair and we're going to paste the same thing in there except we're going to go to zero so i know this has been a ton of back and forth and i apologize for that I'm going to close out of what we don't really need then we press i we want to search we want to go to the inventory like so and then pretty much we can actually do a flip-flop we press it the first time we go to the inventory when we say it the second time. We go to the crosshair. So first time, we go to inventory, press it again, we go to the crosshair. So that'll kind of open and close it. So let's try it. We press I. We have our inventory, press I again. We go to our crosshair. So we're going back and forth. So now really just in the next video, we want to kind of constrain our our inventory portion. So that way it's not taking up the entire screen like it is right here. We want it to be kind of centralized in the middle, lower portion. So I apologize for the kind of sporadic all around of this video was, but anyways, we're off to a good start. So we're going to be done for this video. If you like what I'm doing, anyone help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, Feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.